Hey guys, Kevin here with the Honey Badger. So today we're going to go ahead and create some custom radiator ducting for the obviously front radiator as well as the new oil cooler. So with the OEM setup, you have this guy that sits behind the front bumper and it channels the air that goes through the uh, grill and into the radiator or more or more accurately into the AC condenser first and then through to the radiator. So with the new setup that I have with HB, which let's go take a look. So with this new setup, um, one, our new oil cooler actually is well, you know, separated from the radiator and two, it's off center. So if you actually put this in the center of the radiator, a radiator area here and center it, uh, this at the OEM uh, ducting there would actually work. The problem is what I'm, without some fabrication, additional fabrication, air could go around this radiator here, or this oil cooler and into the radiator. So it'll be less effective with the oil cooler itself, as well as that uh, OEM ductwork actually doesn't cover the whole radiator. So it leaves quite a bit, as you can see um, up in here, there's a whole bunch of space back here that it, since it goes all the way and rests up against the radiator itself, it doesn't actually allow full use of this radiator. So what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and copy what the FP350S does. Well, the best that I can, but I'm going to copy that radiator ducting. So if you look at the screenshots I'm providing on the screen right now, you'll see that they create some custom uh, ducting out of some what I believe based on the video is aluminum sheeting some sheets of aluminum so that's what I plan to do I'm gonna start so the first step for me is gonna be starting with some cardboard and starting to mock it out so I think the easiest way to do this is gonna be to uh, create the main shell around the, the big radiator part so down here through here through here and then add in the various other parts I need to to make it work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get some cardboard and I'm going to start down here, create this version, then probably create this version going up here and then the one up here. So we'll get started on that. I'll be right back. In the recording of this video, so I've just grabbed a screenshot here that I'll use to talk through, but I used cardboard to create the general box and the general outline of what I'll be cutting. I did run out of cardboard there on the one side, on the right side of the radiators. You can see where there's no cardboard, but the general shape has taken place. I've cut it to fit the requirements that, you know, it fits around the impact bar up front. The cable for the, the front wiring part of the harness here can go through and it blocks off all the various bits and pieces. So here's what it looked like after I cut all the sheets of aluminum out and put them in place. You can see here on the sides that I have the little tab I was talking about that I would fold over and then I will put rivets through this to connect these two pieces of aluminum together. And then if you look in the top corner there up against the radiator, there was that little tab that I was talking about that'll seal. Here is the other side of the of the oil cooler mount uh, or oil cooler uh, ducting that I was talking about earlier in the video. And then here in the middle down below, you can see how I created the ducting to uh, go from the bottom because you know the oil cooler isn't quite as tall as the full radiator. Underneath here, what I'm pointing out off the sides there, there's actually a lip in there that I will use to uh, rivet up against. So there's a little half an inch of aluminum that's folded down that I can rivet to so that I can reinforce that and keep that from moving around. And then lastly here I have the top part and this is what it looks like. So you can see here with these little uh, bends that I have, those are similar to the one on the bottom that I was just talking about. But this guy's going to go in to the top here and allow me to seal that front bit off and make sure all the air that enters through the top shoots down in. All right, guys, next day. So I've gotten a head start on installing some of the metal here and bolting things down just to kind of see where I'm at. So as you can see, I, and I think I talked about this yesterday, uh, mount going through the side here, as well as up here for this. These are not tightened down yet because I haven't done any of the rivets yet. So I wanted to wait just in case. Uh, this one is mounted uh, through this guy here. This is gonna definitely probably need to have some type of support added. We'll see as we get things going. Um, as well as, uh, I think next up uh, what I'm gonna do is and because I need to be able to drill into the side of this one and the other side 
for the the upper part of the box and then the lower part of the box here i'm going to leave this side off this uh, end of it but once i get those in i should be able to slip it right in and go for that so i've already gone ahead and tried a few of the rivets to kind of see how it works out and things worked pretty well so far i'm pretty happy with it these are just uh, one eighth by uh, one eighth diameter rivets and the grip length is also one eighth so they're nice and small so they're low profile which is good uh, they seem to be holding and gripping pretty well so i'm pretty happy with it so i'm going to go ahead and grab probably the bottom here um, and put that in here and then start riveting that in and i'll be back with you guys after i i get a chance to go try that and see how that works out then we'll go ahead and do the top and start trimming all right guys so kind of went crazy and just ended up finishing it all at once i apologize for that but i got in the groove and just couldn't kept, uh, couldn't stop myself from continuing so uh, let's take a look at how it ended up turning out it turned out pretty good i think i'm pretty happy with it considering um, i don't know how to weld and this is my first time attacking something like this so i did exactly what i i mentioned uh, just a minute ago where i started with this one riveted it in on you know on this side as well as over here and then I start then I went to the top here riveted it in um, same over here I had a little less to work with over here because this one isn't as tall as this one over here but same idea and then I went and did this one last and that was so that I could get my drill bit in here and keep this out of the way then this guy here is actually from the OEM uh, duct work. I just cut off this bit here. This is the mouth for the intake uh, So I wanted to make sure to retain this as the you know, the shape is uh, Molded to the front of the front fascia there as well as it it does provide a nice little edge here to make sure kind of keep myself on uh, Aligned of where I need to or I keep keep myself uh, Aware of where I need to cut this so that the front fascia fits on here There's a good chance that I'll need to trim this up a bit uh, when it comes time to fit the front fascia But I'm waiting to do that until I'm uh, ready to stick everything on a little bit later So this here I believe is used to seal trunks if I remember correctly It's meant for um, exactly what it's doing covering the ends of sheet metal But then to create a seal I'm using it less for a seal and more just to keep sharp edges from digging into the plastic and wearing things down as well as you can see I put it down here to protect this uh, wiring harness from getting all chewed up by the the sharp metal here so I'll put a link to this in to the uh, an Amazon link to this in my sub, uh, video description box so you guys can go take a look at what that looks like and where you can buy it I also riveted this top piece in uh, to my uh, front radiator support here just as a little bit of extra stability um, i'm pretty happy with how it turned out i think it looks pretty good uh, just to give you a closer look this is what my sides look like and then one of the other things is i added uh, foam here this is actually just weather stripping um, and here it's kind of hard to see but there's a little bit of weather stripping in between the metal here uh, for my ducting and the radiator itself. Obviously, you don't want metal on metal contact of a radiator while you know you're vibrating and sending all that stuff through because that won't be good. So anywhere that this needs to connect a radiator, there'll be some weather stripping there to help reduce the vibrations. All right, guys, that's it from, from me for this project. Next up, we'll probably be doing the AccuSump accumulator in the back and running the line up here to the front, uh, as well as we're gonna be doing the hood pins and the front fascia pins. So I'm doing quick latches here so that you don't need to get at access to this really hard bolt back here. So you'll be able to just push a button and take the front uh, bolts out and then pull that front fascia right off. And then we're gonna do some uh, quick latch hood pins here on the I should say right here on the hood so that uh, we have a little bit more stability there especially since there used to be on the OEM setup there were supports that ran from here uh, to back behind this bar here and uh, those added some additional support here to this um, which is obviously going to be seeing a lot of stress trying to hold down the hood so the hood pins are going to 
bolt in here and add a little bit more stability to the hood and reduce the stress on the front here. So that'll be good. So look for those videos coming from me in the near future. If you have any questions about this very uh, rudimentary ducting or anything like that, feel free to drop me a question. I'm happy to chat with you guys. All right, until the next video, see you guys later.